Hello Automation and Animal Lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. And today we are talking about Process Composer in Automation Anywhere A360. It is a cool tool that helps you build awesome automations if you are not a coding pro. E Imagine, you have a bunch of separate tasks that need to be done in a specific order, maybe by different people then process composer lets you connect those tasks like building blocks creating a smooth and automated process for example if you are supposed to run four task boards in a specific order then you can uh, achieve it with the help of process composer so if we talk about the uh, benefits of the process composer then it will allow us to make workflows easier it will boost the productivity professional and citizen developer can use the process composers low code feature to collaborate and uh, build end-to-end -end process automations process composer display correct data to the appropriate users and exchange that data across multiple teams using a single drag and drop visual interface well, uh, developer can quickly build long-running processes automations that combine boards forms document processing integration and api tasks so let's see how can we create a process composer or how can we compose a process in the automation anywhere at the 60. so for this we need a process i mean uh, we need a task board okay i'm creating a simple task board and in this, I will add a message box. Okay, we have created a task board. Now, I will close this. So, let's create a process automation in Process Composer. So, for this, the procedure, we will follow a procedure. And the first step will be the create a process automation. So, we can log in into our control room as a board creator. And uh, from the... A left pane we can select this automation and uh, then we can click on this plus icon and uh, we can create a new process all right so we have created a process okay from the start panel so when we click on this start we can see this panel on the right hand side so here we can select either uh, in input variable or the form input variable here and then we will get another option select the file upload storage so here i will select automation copilot storage and this is default for pro for process automation and we have one more option document workspace storage which is default for document automation so we are going to we are uh, going to do process automation so i'm selecting the automation copilot and in the request title field, we can enter any text or we can insert a variable as an input uh, variable. So a dynamic uh, title is created for this request that will display in the web interface and serve as a reference. So we can use a reference ID and the reference ID is a meta variable type. So either you can uh, give a name here means uh, my request or we can select insert a variable by clicking on it and here we can select the variable source we can select either global values or the process type of uh, value so i will select the process type of value request and here in variable type i will select the meta and when i select this meta so i can see the uh, there are a lot of uh, variables in the in this drop down so i will use this reference id okay so I will click on add and here we can see my my request. So now our title will become dynamic. Uh, every time this reference ID will be different. So uh, we will get a different title. We will see it uh, when we run this. Now in the task name field, enter the name of the task. Again, we can uh, make it dynamic also means uh, task. And this one reference id we can use this reference id here also and in the data privacy tag field it is uh, optional 
we can uh, enter a text or a variable to generate a hidden custom output okay but it is optional i'm uh, leaving it blank and we can also customize the columns in the request and task view pages and uh, we can select the attributes to view them as separate columns so we will see this uh, view pages later all right so now click on save or apply i will click on save okay so we have created this process successfully now in this we can compose or uh, we can add any task bot any form interactive form and if you don't know how can we create the interactive form you can check out our previous video and we can add another process in this process also we can add document validation in this process we can add filters and if you want to apply some conditions means if this condition is true then run this process uh, otherwise run that process so in that case you can use this logics also if else else if and we have endpoint also means if uh, uh, if this condition is true then uh, end the process if this condition is false then go to that process so like that you can uh, apply your logics with the help of these elements all right and here we can create the variables also like we create in our task board okay so this is uh, this variable creation is similar to the variable creation process of uh, task boards all right so in our process we are going to add a board task board which we have created recently so for that i will uh, double click on this board and we can see it has added successfully and here we need to give the name of the element so i am giving the uh, uh, my board and ta in task name we can insert a variable again and we can use that same meta thing we can uh, use a reference id task 1 because we can add multiple task in our uh, process so we can uh, use our dynamic name and uh, we have this timeout option also bot queue timeout so if there is an issue or something happens so it will uh, throw timeout error and also if bot doesn't start within the specified time the task will timeout maximum is 24 hours and minimum is 1 minute so we have already selected the maximum for example if i give 0 and here if i give 5 minutes so if this task doesn't start within 5 minute then uh, we will get a timeout error okay and select the task bot so i will click on browse we can also select the meta bot also iq bot also okay the task bot we have created this simple task bot i will select this and choose in the run bot and dependency using in this field we can select a label version you we can select latest version or the production label so we have selected this latest version we don't have any option of production label uh, and the bot deploys the version that you select and in the bot priority section we can review our uh, bot priority level so it is medium we don't have any option to uh change it the bot priority level is a read only label that shows low medium or high depending on the priority level that was set for the bot okay so by default uh, it is read only field we can't uh, make any change here and if the priority of the bot if the priority of a task bot was changed you need to browse for the task bot again to reflect the correct priority status for an existing process composer process automation so if this priority has changed recently so we can uh, browse again now as a bot creator we can select how the bot task execute executes locally on the request creators desktop or remotely so here we can see bot task execution mode uh, remote execution uh, when we select this remote execution the local bot executes remotely based on our global or process scheduler settings and generate a corresponding entry in the audit logs and uh, with this uh, remote execution automations can run independently 
while user works on other tasks so and uh, are notified in automation copilot when the automation have completed and local execution main window local execution child window we have these two option so when selected this main window the local bot executes on the main window of the request creator's device and generate a corresponding entry in the audit logs and the request must be created by a user within with an attended license and have selected a default device otherwise the bot task execution mode defaults to remote execution and remote uh, and sorry local local execution child window this feature when we select uh, when we select this option the local bot executes on a child window of the request creator's device and generates a corresponding entry in the audit log the request must be created by a user with an attended license and have selected a default device otherwise the bot task execution mode defaults to remote execution so this remote execution is the default execution mode all right and uh, when we scroll down again data privacy tag it is optional so leave it blank and input values select the input values checkbox and uh, specify a variable but we don't have an input variable for this uh, task board so we are not getting anything here all right let me save the board all right now we have configured uh, the board task in our process automation successfully so now we can save this we can run this see when we run this it will open the automation copilot window and uh, set input variable we don't have any variable so we can confirm and here we go you can see task and here uh, we can't see any reference id see this task is created by this user and date and time we can see and task uh, when we are running this so it, it is showing that task name of the task and that reference id automated task and it is in progress so here you can see the start uh, status it is launching so this is how you can run a task board you can uh, run you can use a form or api task see it has started and because it was uh, it contain only one message box so we got that message box successfully and when we close this it will complete uh, and uh, here we can see pause press play and a stop button also if you want to pause your bot or you want to control your bot you can control from here successfully so if i close this then this task code will get complete here we go it has completed successfully and request is closed request is closed you can see and here in the left pane you can see this task and here you can see the uh, this one now uh, so this is how you can add multiple task board and you can run in done those board in a specific order and you can contain a, you can add a form you can add another process in this process composer and you can apply conditions also so this is the uh, this is an interesting feature of uh, automation anywhere a360 sequence of steps in process automation which can uh, contain any of the following process automation uh, elements a form task a board task api task uh, we don't have any api task here approval task also we have an option and document validation input output and meta variables include shared data in the process automation and uh, we have logical conditions and the endpoints so in logic condition we can have uh, uh, we have uh, if else Pay, if else pair or as if to include internal and conditional branching of the process automation and in and point we have uh, close each request it means we can end the process so thank you guys for watching this video you can uh, use this this is very simple uh, using a single drag drop and uh, visual interface developers can quickly build long running process automation that combines boards forms document processing etc so thanks for watching this video guys do if you have any doubt or any question you can let us know in the comment section thank you bye
you've got to learn the world.